China's People's Liberation Army Navy or PLA Navy appears to have put an unusual catamaran drone minicarrier into service as part of an experimental naval training force. China looks to have launched an odd mini-aircraft carrier of sorts that is intended to launch and recover small aerial drones earlier this year. All told, the ship would look to be able to provide a valuable platform for helping to simulate drone swarms. High-volume anti-ship cruise missile strikes and large-scale electronic warfare attacks, among other threats, across a broad area and doing so at a relatively low cost. These capabilities would be very useful for training purposes as well as for supporting research and development and test and evaluation activities, such as work on new and improved naval countermeasures. This is also just more evidence that the PLA in general and the PLA Navy specifically have been working to expand their training and test forces to be better able to replicate various types of advanced enemy capabilities, including network drone swarms and electronic warfare systems, which are very real threats now. All of this is hardly surprising given that is an arms race of sorts going on between the Chinese and the United States at present across various arenas, including the development of armed crude systems, autonomous technology, and electronic warfare capabilities, among many others. The PLA as a whole is well aware of these threats given the strides that it has made in recent years in developing and fielding various systems that fall into these categories. As a prime example of all of this, U.S. military-sponsored wargaming as well as simulations run by various organizations independently has increasingly shown that networked swarms of drones with electronic warfare packages, among many other capabilities, and with high degrees of autonomy, could be game-changing in any future high-end conflict between American and Chinese forces over Taiwan. With this in mind, there is the possibility that the PLA Navy could employ the catamaran drone carrier as well as the modular training barge, or additional similar maritime platforms, as actual operational assets, in a future conflict. In addition, U.S. military officials have become increasingly outspoken about the threats that drones, including lower-end commercial types, pose to its forces abroad and at home, even outside of traditional conflicts. This very much applies in the context of maritime operations where the U.S. Navy has experienced a growing number of drone-related incidents including instances of harassment of its warships by multiple uncrewed systems right off the coast of the United States. It will be interesting to see what else might now emerge about this catamaran drone carrier and its work supporting the PLA Navy's training and test forces. A model of this catamaran vessel appeared at this year's Ju High Air Show, where it was ostensibly described as a platform for mimicking enemy electronic systems during training exercises. This ship will be able to simulate hostile drone swarms, along with other kinds of threats, such as high-volume anti-ship missile strikes and distributed electronic warfare attacks. It also reflects the Chinese military's interest in operational swarming capabilities, and especially in the maritime domain. The model at Zhuhai last year showed that the vessel had a large open rear deck, which could be used for launching and recovering other kinds of drones, among other things, and a large tower on top of its central superstructure with a number of antenna domes. The model of the vessel at Zhuhai depicted it carrying five relatively small tandem rotor drone helicopters on a large open foredeck in front of the main superstructure. In addition, it showed multiple large antenna domes, which might be associated with high bandwidth communication systems that would be useful for controlling large groups of unmanned helicopters. The domes were mounting on a large tower on top of the superstructure that would offer a very good location just for positioning line-of-sight control links. As for the drones themselves, the CASIC booth also had a separate model of one of them showing a bar underneath the fuselage with what appears to be some kind of radio frequency signal emitter installed on either end. What could be other antennas are seen jutting out from the sides of the fuselage and the portly design points to some degree of internal payload capacity. There was a small sign next to the model at Ju Hai with descriptions of the ship in Chinese and English. Available pictures of the sign do not provide a clear view of all of the English text, but part of it reads Multifunctional Integrated Electronic Blue Army System. In Chinese military parlance, mock opponents in training exercises are referred to as the Blue Army. 
This is in direct contrast to how the US military and other Western armed forces describe generic simulated enemies as the Red Force. Based on this description, and from what we can see of the ship's design and that of the drones on its deck, it's not hard to imagine how it might be employed in maritime exercises both far out to sea and in literal areas. For realistic training against swarms, it would be necessary to sortie lots of drones at once. Beyond that, the unmanned helicopters could pump out signals reflecting the signatures of various kinds of missiles, or even just waves of manned or unmanned aircraft. The rotary wing drones would be fitted with electronic warfare systems to carry out electronic attacks, as well. All of this would provide a relatively low-cost way to simulate swarms, along with other kinds of aerial threats during drills, and do so across a broad area. The large open decks on the ship in front of and behind the superstructure might provide room for the addition of other capabilities. Catapults or static launches for fixed-wing drones including those designed specifically as targets, as well as recovery systems, could be installed in those spaces to expand the kinds of threats the vessel would be to simulate. While the Chinese military is often discussed as a source of these kinds of threats. As a result, it is certainly well aware of the operational risks that drone swarms, advanced anti-ship missiles, and electronic warfare capabilities pose to its own forces. China's rapid modernization of its armed forces has very much prompted the US military, as well as those of other countries in the Pacific, to work to improve their own capabilities in these same functional areas, especially with respect to future high-end maritime conflicts. At the same time, it's not at all hard to see how this vessel could be a stepping stone to an actual operational capability, if it doesn't simply reflect systems already in service clandestinely now. China has made steady advances in recent years in the development of drone swarm capabilities, often leveraging advancing artificial intelligence and machine learning technology in the process.